Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to dive into the world of aromatic spices and flavors as we prepare a classic and mouth-watering dish, mutton biryani. This traditional Indian dish features tender mutton, goat meat, cooked with fragrant basmati rice and a blend of spices. So, let's gather our ingredients and get ready to create a biryani that will tantalize your taste buds. Here's what you'll need for mutton biryani. For the mutton marination, 500 grams mutton, goat meat, cut into pieces. 1 cup yogurt. 2 tablespoons ginger garlic paste. 1 teaspoon red chili powder. 1 half teaspoon turmeric powder. 1 teaspoon garam masala. Salt to taste. For the biryani. 2 cups basmati rice. 4 cups water. 2 onions, thinly sliced. 4 tablespoons ghee clarified butter, or vegetable oil. 2 teaspoons cumin seeds. 4 green cardamom pods. 4 cloves. 2 inch cinnamon stick. 1 bay leaf. 1 teaspoon fennel seeds. 1 teaspoon black peppercorns. 2 teaspoons biryani masala powder. Saffron strands soaked in warm milk, optional. Chopped coriander leaves and fried onions for garnish. Starts preparing the mutton biryani. First, let's marinate our mutton. In a bowl, combine the mutton pieces with yogurt, ginger garlic paste, red chili powder, turmeric powder, garam masala, and salt. Mix everything together until the mutton is well coated with the marinade. Let it marinate for at least one hour, or for better flavor, overnight in the refrigerator. While the mutton is marinating, let's prepare the rice. Rinse the basmati rice under cold water until the water runs clear. Then, soak the rice in water for about 30 minutes. In a large pot, bring 4 cups of water to a boil. Add a pinch of salt and the soaked rice. Cook the rice until it is about 70% cooked. We want it slightly undercooked, as it will continue to cook with the mutton later. Drain the rice and set it aside. Now, let's move on to the biryani preparation. Heat ghee or vegetable oil in a large, deep pan over medium heat. Add the sliced onions and sauté until golden brown and caramelized. Remove half of the fried onions and set them aside for garnishing later. To the remaining onions in the pan, add the cumin seeds, green cardamom pods, cloves, cinnamon stick, bay leaf, fennel seeds, and black peppercorns. Sauté the spices for a minute until they become fragrant and release their flavors. Now, it's time to add the marinated mutton to the pan. Cook the mutton for about 10 minutes, stirring occasionally, until it is browned and cooked through. Once the mutton is cooked, add biryani masala powder and mix it well with the mutton and spices. This will enhance the flavor and give our biryani that authentic taste. Lay a half of the partially cooked rice over the mutton in the pan. If desired, drizzle some saffron milk over the rice for added color and aroma. Then, Sprinkle a handful of fried onions and chopped coriander leaves over the rice. Repeat the layers with the remaining rice, saffron milk, fried onions, and coriander leaves. Make sure to finish with a final layer of rice on top. Cover the pan with a tight-fitting lid and cook the biryani over low heat for about 20 to 25 minutes. This allows the flavors to melt together and the rice to fully cook and absorb the aromatic spices. Once the biryani is cooked, Remove it from the heat and let it rest for a few minutes. This resting period allows the flavors to further develop and the steam to settle. Finally, it's time to unveil our flavorful mutton biryani. Gently fluff the rice with a fork, ensuring that the layers remain intact. The aroma of the spices and the tender mutton will surely make your taste buds dance with joy. Garnish the biryani with the reserved fried onions and some additional chopped coriander leaves for that final touch of freshness. And there you have it. Mutton biryani. Aromatic, flavorful, and absolutely delicious. Serve it hot with raita, yogurt dip, or a side salad for a complete meal that will transport you to the streets of India. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make mutton biryani. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more delectable recipes from around the world. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy cooking!